Alright, in this video, I'll be showing you how to calculate the cross product of two vectors using a Casio FX991 ES calculator. Alright, now the first thing you're going to do here is to put your calculator in vector mode. Now, the whole process is actually divided into three. Alright, first, you need to ensure that your calculator is in vector mode. Now, secondly, you need to input the dimensions of the vectors you're talking about. Here is our question. We have vector A and vector B. We need to put in impute vector A into our calculator and then impute vector B into our calculator as well. Then the third step is to just calculate the cross product from our calculator. So we are going to do this together. Now the first step is to put our calculator in vector mode. To do, to do this, we press the mode button and then press 8. Now if you press your mode button, you see that your calculator will give you the different modes that are present in it. Now, vector is at number 8. So, to put your calculator in vector mode, you press 8. Alright? Now, your calculator is going to ask you, the vector you want to input first, is it vector A, vector B, or vector C? Number 1 stands for vector A. Number 2 stands for vector B. Number 3 stands for vector C. So, since we want to input vector A, remember we need to input our vectors first before we calculate the cross product. Since we want to input vector A, we are going to press 1. You can see it in the step here. Press 1 to impute first vector, which is vector A. So we are going to press 1 here. Now the calculator is asking you, your vector, vector A, is it a three-dimensional vector or is it a two-dimensional vector? This is 1 for three-dimensional vector. You press 2 for two-dimensional vector. Now the vector we have here is a three-dimensional vector. I, J, and K. We have three components here. Alright, so because of that, we are going to press 1. You can see it in the step here. I think that should be step 1. Sorry, step 3. Press 1 for 3 dimensional vector. Now we impute the values of vector A, the values of i, j, and k for vector A. Alright, to do that, we are going to be working with the coefficients. For the i component of vector A, we have 3. The coefficient of i is 3, so our i component is 3. j component is 2. Coefficient of j is 2. And then... The k component, the coefficient of k, which is a minus 1. Alright, so we input our components now. For vector a, we have 3 for i, so we press 3 first. Alright, that's the i component. Then you say equal to, you go to the j component, which is 2, so you press 2. Press 2. And then you go to the k component, which is minus 1, so you press minus 1. 1. Then you press equal to again. So this is how to impute the components, right, or the dimensions of the vector. This is 3i plus 2j minus k. We have it here 3, 2, and minus 1. So we are going to, or we work with the coefficients. So we work with the coefficients 3, 2, and minus 1. Now the next step, which is um, step 5, we are done with sorry step four we are done with step three which is press one for three dimensional vectors and impute vector a right which is the first vector we're done with that now we're on step four step four is going to lead us to how we're going to impute vector b so say shift press shift button and then you press five now one is for dimension two is for the data the data you've already imputed into the calculator now, 1 is for dimension, the dimension of the next vector we want to put. So, we press 1. Alright? Now, the next vector we want to input is vector B. So, we press 2. Okay, you can see it here. Press Shift 5, press 1, then press 2 to input vector B. Now, vector B is also a three-dimensional vector. We have I, J, K. So, we press 1. Alright? And then, we impute vector B again, just like we did for vector a, all right you can see it here on step six press one for three dimensional vector they impute values of i j and k for vector b now what's the value of i for vector b remember i said we work with just the coefficients coefficients of i here is two so the i component for vector b is two coefficient, coefficient of j here is minus five so the j component of vector b is minus five Coefficient of k here is 7, so the k component of vector b is plus 7. So we input it into our calculator. We have i component for vector b, 2. 
press 2, press equal to the J component is minus 5, so we'll press minus 5, press equal to, and then the K component is 7, so we'll press 7 and press equal to. Now the next step, we are done with imputing vectors A and vector B into our calculator. The next step now will be to calculate the cross product. So to do that, we'll press, we'll go to step 7, you press AC button, alright? To clear everything, they come back. You say shift five. That's step eight. All right. Now you press three to bring out vector A. So say three. All right. You see what we have here. Now you press your multiplication sign. Now remember, your calculator is in vector mode. So this multiplication sign is not going to stand for multiplication sign again. It's going to stand for cross product. All right. So we have vector A cross. Now you press shift 5 again. And then you press 4 to bring vector B. So now we have vector A cross vector B. Alright, so we're almost done. The next step now is to press equal to. And then we have our answer. Our answer here is 9 minus 23 minus 19. Alright, which is like saying... Uh, 9i minus 23j minus 19k. Alright, so you can see it here 9 minus 23 and then minus 19. So this is our answer and this is how to calculate vector cross product. So in your calculator, it is written this way 9 minus 23 minus 19. Alright, so to present your answer in the proper manner, we write it in their components. This is going to be 9i minus 23j minus 19k so this is what we have all right so this is our answer for the cross products of a and b a cross b this is our answer now when you're done solving or calculating your vector cross product it is very important you put your calculator back in the normal mode so you can use it to cal uh, carry out other calculations so to do this you just come down so you press mode button and then you press number one your calculator is back to normal mode and you can use it for other calculations you only take it back to vector mode when you want to calculate maybe something like this on vectors vector cross product and the likes